Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to HJN. And now here on Honest Jay Nowak, I'd like to simply go through even more subjects here. I'm pretty much just shifting it into overdrive at this point. And I'm pretty much not joking when it comes to that, because there is in fact a lot that I would very much like to talk about based on HJN and a lot of different topics that come about. So, today, I'll be talking about aliases. Of course, many people who aren't really aware with the fact that there do exist such a thing like the Witness Protection Program, they'd probably be familiar with the fact that sometimes people who do get involved in certain crimes, as in mostly the victims, they end up having to go to the WPP just to be able to keep themselves safe at all costs. They end up being given a place to live, a certain amount of cash to be able to use until the time is necessary for conviction and investigation, as well as a new identity. Synonymous with it is just simply known as an alias an alternate name that people would typically use for a purpose like that. But other times, people wouldn't necessarily use aliases as a way of either protecting themselves from identity theft or from, simply put, just not having their own identity at all. And there's even been times where people have unfortunately had so much trauma, hardship, and distraught and distress in their lifetime that at some point in their life, they would simply put, do some things that would normally kill themselves, including the explosion of a building that they're in, the murder of people, or anything else. And that is, of course, what they would conclude the end of their life, and the beginning of a new life of theirs, and that of which would come along with a few things. Usually it comes with the same sort of amenities that the Witness Protection Program would provide, except it works in a whole different way. An alternate identity, of course, is something that some people actually use for protection of themselves. So that way, exposure, based on the truth to what really happened, could not get out. And of course, there actually do exist people out there that do have different identities of any sorts, mostly for this purpose. But in me in particular, there will always be people who have the same kind of problems as I've had in life. Simply put, there's just a lot to look out for when it comes to having a different name and having a different life of your own to look out for. So that's pretty much it that I would have left to talk about this one in general, but there are certainly going to be more topics along the line here. so. Please be sure to stay tuned for that, and if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.